Welcome back to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to restrict recordings in Microsoft Teams meetings. So here we are in a Teams meeting, and it's really easy for anybody to simply hit record here. So in the meeting itself here in the app, if I just click on more, I have the option to record and transcribe, and I can start recording. And so you notice that up in the top left, we get the recording icon, and then a notification is sent to everyone that the recording has started. Now, a lot of organizations have policies around who can and cannot record. So let's take a look at how to actually implement that. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this meeting right now and navigate to the Teams portal which if we look at the URL here, it is admin.teams.microsoft.com. Or if you have the admin center bookmarked like I do, it's in the admin centers down at the bottom. We can see Teams here. So we'll go back to the dashboard. So the first thing we'll do is navigate down to meetings and then meeting policies. So here is where we have the various policies that apply to Teams, and you can assign these on a per user basis. So we'll start by looking at the global org-wide default policy, which is this top one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it by clicking on it. And then we're gonna scroll down to recording and transcription. Here we go. So you can see here that meeting recording is enabled. So if I wanna have this disabled for everybody, I simply flip this toggle you can now see it says off, and then I'll go ahead and hit save. And this warning here does tell us that it will take some time to take effect. And I'll go ahead and hit confirm. And then it takes us back to the policy page. And so now if we wanna create a policy that allows specific users to be able to record, I can simply create a policy by clicking on add, and I'm gonna give it a name. Very descriptive here, it tells exactly what our intent is. I'm gonna scroll down the recording and transcription setting again, and I'm gonna enable meeting recording. And then I'm gonna click save. And then back on this screen, you can now see that I have one custom policy called allow recording. And if I click on view users, you can see that it's not assigned to anybody. And so to assign users to it, we can go back to meeting policies. We can check allow recording hit the drop down for manage users and select the option to assign users. And here we can search for users. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for myself and click on the option to add and then apply. And again, we get this warning that this will take some time to take effect. Uh, so do be aware that changing these settings is not instantaneous. It will take some time uh, for, for it to roll out to users. And this is just the way that Teams in Office 365 is designed in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And then while this is saving, let's clarify the licenses that are needed to be able to record in Microsoft Teams meetings. So this is, this is something that comes up quite often for us. So let's just cover it really quick. So here in the Microsoft Docs, I'm on the recording troubleshooting page. And at the bottom, it lists all of the Office 365 and Microsoft 365 licenses that would allow a user to record. And you notice that it states that both the meeting organizer and recorder must have one of the following licenses. So O365 Enterprise, E1, E3, E5, F3, A1, A3, A5, and then M365 Business, Business Premium, or Business Essentials. So that's how you can restrict recordings in Microsoft Teams meetings. And remember, if you have any issues with this, Enterprises Software Solutions is your number one software dudes. We're here to help you. Thank you for watching.